Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjaliyamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in the subject Thermodynamics in Tamil. This is lecture number 3.12, Problems in the Second Law of Thermodynamics, Part 6, Solving Problem in Second Law of Thermodynamics, the learning outcome to the lecture. At the end of the lecture, the student will be able to solve problem in second law of thermodynamics. Example number 16. Two reversible heat engine A and B are arranged in series. Engine A is rejecting heat to B. The engine A receives 200 kilojoules at a temperature of 421 degrees Celsius from the hot source, while B is in communication with the cold sink at temperature 4.4 degrees Celsius. If the work of A is twice of B, find 1. Intermediate temperature between A and B, 2. Efficiency of each engine, 3. Heat rejected by the cold sink. In the question, May 2018, November 2012, so this is the arrangement. So, diagrammatic representation of the problem. So, engine A, engine B. Engine A, it is taking heat. Q1 amount of heat 200 kilojoules from temperature 421 degree Celsius. Engine A is producing work WA. Engine A is rejecting heat Q2 at temperature T2 to the engine B. So, heat rejected by the engine A is equal to heat input to the engine B. Engine B work output WB rejected Q3. So, to the temperature T3 equal to 4.4 degree Celsius. Intermediate temperature T2 contributing no condition on the WA is equal to 2 times of WB intermediate temperature efficiency of each engine eta A eta B contributing no heat rejected to the sink Q3 contributing no. So, first T1 given data T1 equal to 421 degree Celsius which is 694 Kelvin T3 equal to 4.4 degree Celsius 277.4 Kelvin WA equal to 2 times of WB. So, in the equation to count, WA equal to 2 times of WB. WA in a Q1 minus Q2. Q1 minus Q2. WB in a Q2 minus Q3. So, heat transfer, work done equal to net heat transfer. Net work done equal to net heat transfer. So, in the first term, left hand side, Q2 a value at the Q2 a value at the Q1 by Q2 minus 1. 2. In the Q2 a value at the one minus Q3 by Q2. So in the Q2 and Q2 cancel I wrong. So Q1 by Q2 equal to T1 by T2 minus 1 plus equal to 2 times of 1 minus Q2 Q3 by Q2 equal to T3 by T2. If we have values T1 value T3 value T2 is the unknown. So intermediate temperature. That is the diagram. The previous equation T1 by T2 minus 1 equal to 2 times of 1 minus T3 by T2. T1 by T2 plus 2 times of T3 by T2. So, in the experiment, we have minus 1 and minus 1 and plus 1. So, 2 into 1, 2 plus 1, 3. So, 2 times of T3 by T2 in the plus 2 times of T3 by T2 equal to 3. So, T1 694 divided by T2 plus 2 into 277.4 divided by T2 equal to 3. Simply we you take common denominator as T2. 694 plus 2 times of 277.4 equal to 3 times of T2. So, solving this equation, T2 equal to 416.3 Kelvin. So, T2 intermediate temperature equal to 416.3 Kelvin. Efficiency of the engines. Engine A, 1 minus T2 by T1. So, 1 minus 416.2 divided by 694 equal to 0.4 equal to 40 percent. Eta B, 1 minus T3 by T2 equal to 1 minus 277.4 divided by 416.2 equal to 334, which is 33.4 degree percentage, 33.4 percentage. Then heat rejected to the cold sink. Efficiency A, Eta A equal to 1, mi Q 1 minus Q2 divided by Q1. So, Q2 equal to Q1 minus eta A into Q1. In the equation rearrangement, Q2 equal to Q1 minus eta A into Q1. So, Q1 is 200. Eta A is 0.4. Q1 equal to 200. So, 200 minus 
0 0.4 into 200 equal to 120 kilojoules. Eta B equal to Q2 minus Q3 divided by Q2. So, if in the equation rearrange Q3 equal to Q2 minus Eta B into Q2. So, 120 minus 0 0.334 into 120 equal to 79.92 kilojoules. Now, the answer to the problem, intermediate temperature between A and B, 416.3 Kelvin, efficiency of each engine, eta A equal to 40 percent, eta B equal to 33.4 percent, heat rejected to the cold sink, 79.92 kilojoules. Next question, example number 17, in the question, the November 2018, if three Carnot engines of same efficiency connected in series such that 1200 Kelvin reservoir supplies 2400 kilojoules of heat and 150 Kelvin reservoir receives 300 kilojoules of heat. Find the intermediate temperature, efficiency and the work output of all the engine. So, this is the arrangement. T1 is the temperature of the source which is giving heat 2400 kilojoules to the engine 1. The heat rejected by the engine 1 will be input for the engine 2. So, Q2 is the amount of heat rejected, T2 is the temperature, W2 is the work produced by the engine 2. The heat rejected by the engine 2 is Q3 at temperature T3. This is the engine 3 is the input. Then the engine 3 is producing work, W3. And the engine 3 rejecting heat, Q4 equal to 300 kJ to a temperature of 150 Kelvin. Intermediate temperature, T2 contributing, T3 contributing. Efficiency of each engine contributing, work output of the engine contributing. So, the condition is equal efficiency, eta 1 equal to eta 2 equal to eta 3 equal to eta. So, each engine efficiency, eta equal to first engine, eta equal to 1 minus q2 by q1. So, q2 by q1 equal to 1 minus eta. So, eta equal to 1 minus q2 by q1. So, q2 by q1 equal to 1 minus eta. Again, second engine. Eta equal to 1 minus Q3 by Q2. So, Q3 by Q2 equal to 1 minus Eta. Then third engine, Eta equal to 1 minus Q4 by Q3. So, Q4 by Q3 equal to 1 minus Eta. So, Q2 by Q1, Q3 by Q2, Q3 by Q, Q4, Q, Q4 by Q3, all these values are equal to 1 minus Eta. Now, we take the Q2 by Q1 into Q3 by Q2 into Q4 by Q3 equal to 1 minus Eta to the power 3. So, if you the equations, Q2, Q2 cancel, Q3, Q3 cancel, Q4 by Q1 equal to 1 minus eta to the power 3. So, Q4 equal to 300, Q1 equal to 2400, 1 minus eta to the power 3. In the equation, left hand side, 0 0.125 equal to 1 minus eta to the power 3. So, eta equal to 0 0.5. So, eta value equal to 0 0.5. Now, intermediate temperature, we calculate eta equal to 1 minus T2 by T1. So, T2 by T1 equal to 1 minus 0.5 equal to 0.5. So, T2 equal to 0.5 times of T1. So, this equal to 0.5 into 1200 equal to 600 Kelvin. Eta equal to the second engine. Eta equal to 1 minus T3 by T2. So, T3 by T2 equal to 1 minus 0.5 equal to 0.5. So, T3 equal to 0.5 into T2 which is 0 0.5 into 600 equal to 300 Kelvin. So, T2 equal to 600 Kelvin and T3 equal to 300 Kelvin. Then, intermediate heat transfer. So, in the engine level, the intermediate heat transfer. So, eta equal to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. So, Q2 by Q1 equal to 1 minus eta. So, Q2 equal to 1 minus eta into Q1. So, 0 0.5 into 2400 equal to 1200 kilojoules. For the second engine, eta equal to 1 minus Q3 by Q2. So, Q3 by Q2 equal to 1 minus eta. So, Q3 equal to 1 minus eta into Q2. So, 0 0.5 into 1200 equal to 600 kilojoules. So, Q2, Q1 equal to 2400, Q2 equal to 1200, Q3 equal to 600 and Q4 equal to 300. Now, work done for each engine. So, work done eta equal to W1 by Q1. So, W1 equal to eta into Q1. So, 0 0.5 into 2400 equal to 1200 kilojoules. Second engine, eta equal to W2 by Q2. So, W2 equal to eta into Q2, which is 0 0.5 into 1200 equal to 600 kilojoules. Third engine, eta equal to W3 by Q3. Work done, W3 equal to eta into Q3. So, 0 0.5 into 600 equal to 300 kilojoules. So, the answer to the problem, the intermediate temperature T2 equal to 600 Kelvin 
and T3 equal to 300 Kelvin. Efficiency of each engine is 50 percent. Work output of all the engine W1 equal to 1200 kilojoules, W2 equal to 600 kilojoules and W3 equal to 300 kilojoules. We stop here. So, thank you for watching. If you have doubt in the WhatsApp number, message pannunga. I will answer to your question. We will meet again with another problem in second law of thermodynamics. Until then, bye.